Salama ni fahari yangu mtazamaji kuungana nawe kwenye taarifa zetu za mbi weekend popote ulipo na tumai umeshinda vyema. Karibu mimi naitwa Cecilia wa Kesho Masuva moja kwa moja tuandamani hadi tamati. Mfanya biashara Chris Kirubi amezikwa katika shamba lake huko Zika katika hafla iliyohudhuriwa na binti Merian Musangi ambaye amesema kuwa babake aliwajali na kuapa elimu nzuri. Amesema nia ya Kirubi ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha kuwa wanafanikiwa katika malengo yao maishani. I mean, I was only 12. He was making me leave my cousins, my mom, people that I loved. He was making me leave him. I couldn't understand why, but let me tell you. We talked about how he was a salesman. You all know how he's a salesman, right? I was shown brochures. Hmm? Children on horses. Muzungus? Children on horses. Huh? Climbing mountains. Others ice skating. I mean, what is ice skating? We hadn't even seen snow yet. You're telling me about ice skating. Let me tell you. That guy had this 12-year-old girl sold. I couldn't run faster onto that plane to go to Switzerland. Of course, homesickness hit in. And uh, being away in Europe, I was with my cousin Susan, who was then in college doing languages. We obviously couldn't come home often, and I missed him. I missed my mom. I missed my cousins. I missed being in Kenya. And I started wondering, I, I thought dad loved me. I thought I was his little baby. Why would he do this to me? And sometimes it actually did turn into resentment from time to time. But you know what? He was thinking ahead. Because in the 80s, how many African families were sending children out of Kenya for school? Today it is common. But in the early 80s, who was doing that? He was thinking ahead. He had a vision for me. That vision was to get exposed. That vision was to be worldly. That vision was to be fearless of any culture, any language, any persons, and for me to be bold. Ama kweli ni, ni uh, pengo kubwa ambalo limeachwa mtazamaji na mfanya biashara huyo na tunaomba Mola Ilazi roho yake mahali pema penye wema. Kwingine kwa kwamba mzee Dennis Daudi Afande aliyewahi kuhudumu kama balozi wa Kenya Marekani amezikwa leo nyumbani kwake katika kijiji cha Matayos viongozi na wenyeji wakimsifia kama ama kwa mema aliyotenda katika siku za uhai wake. Afande amezikwa katika mazingira yenye ulinzi mkali kutokana na msambao wa virusi vya corona katika eneo linalozunguka Ziwa Victoria. Afande alifariki baada ya kugongwa na mwendesha bodaboda. He was a man of great insight and unique leadership qualities who served this nation with distinction. As one of the pioneer public servants and a consummate diplomat, Ambassador Fande was a man of many firsts. His long and distinguished service helped lay the foundation of the Kenyan nation. Considering the upsurge of COVID-19 in the western regions, various measures have been taken to safeguard our people against this disease and the county government together the national government we are working very closely to see that all the containment measures and protocols are observed so we are going to activate our people right from the grassroots to keep on educating our people on these containment measures na makiwa kwa familia Tukisonga mbele ni kwamba viongozi wa magharibi wamesifia hatu ya wizara ya afya kuweka masharti makali ya kuzuia msambao wa corona katika ukanda unaozunguka Ziwa Victoria huku kaunti 13 zikiwekwa kwenye kafi unayoanza saa moja jioni na kukamilika saa kumi asubuhi. Viongozi wamewataka wenyeji kuheshimu sheria wengi wakijipata pabaya katika maeneo mengi ya magharibi hususan katika kaunti ya Bungoma baada ya kukamatwa usiku kwa mkia Jumamosi kwa kosa la kuwa nje wa nje usiku usiofaa. Si 
hizi natafuta unga bwana za hizi mambo ya kafu bwana urundi anajua kwa sababu hizi sisi ndio sio atukuleta hapa covid 19 ngoma hizi tunafanya tu kazi tukitoshia kazi tunaenda nyumbani watu walikuja Kisumu walikuwa wametoka India na walikuwa na hiyo type ya covid kwa hivyo watu wangu mjikinge kabisa corona is not a joke corona ni kama shetani na mimi Speaker wa bunge la taifa Justin Muturi sasa anapendekeza haja ya kuunda tume ya huduma za afya kama njia kukomesha mgogoro ambao umekukishuhudiwa kati ya serikali za kaunti na sekta ya afya chini ya miungano ya huduma wa afya akizungumza kwa njia ya mtandao hapo jana kwenye warsha siku tatu ya shirikisho la afya ambalo limewaleta pamoja baadhi ya shikadau kwenye sekta hiyo kwa madhumuni ya kujadili jinsi ya kujumuisha teknolojia na ubunifu katika kuboresha huduma za afya kwa wananchi Muturi amewataka wahusika wote kuanza mazungumzo yanayohusu afya na kamati za bunge ama mabunge yote mawili kuhusu afya. Health matters while they affect every Kenyan they are very technical sometimes journalists are not able to pick the real issues so by getting this MOU it means that we will have collaboration between doctors and journalists at different level national level and at, uh, county and regional levels that journalists who need information on matters health the broadest spectrum of health can access doctors at short notice and be able to get the information there is need uh, to have a health service commission are formed so that we can address these perennial challenges that our counties are facing in terms of management of these uh, uh, where, uh, where our patients resource which are the specialized and, and the doctors and the other healthcare workers. We are prepared uh, as a country uh, and as KMA and I know working closely with the Ministry of Health will be able to respond and we cannot be overrun with this infection. The lasting panacea to the persistent regimen of disputes between the government and the healthcare-based healthcare trade unions is the, formation, is the formation of a health service commission. Such a commission with the finger on the pulse on emerging issues and short, short turnaround time can cure the situation and bring greater sanity to our health, healthcare sector. To address this, I call upon all stakeholders in the health sector to robustly start an engagement with the Departmental Committee on Health in the National Assembly and their Senate Counterpart Committee on Health and probably move this matter from a conversation and have the Commission established through an amendment to the Constitution before the end of the current 12th Parliament. Na wakati huo huo kamati ya bunge kuhusu afya inaitaka serikali ya kitaifa kuanza kutenga mgao wa kila mwaka wa shilingi bilioni hamsini kwa taasisi ya kitaifa kuhusu utafiti wa matibabu ukipenda kemri ili kuisaidia kuafikia utafiti wa kisayansi nchini ikiongozwa na mbunge wa ndiwa Martin Owino kamati hiyo imesema kemri imekuwa taasisi muhimu sana kwa serikali ambayo hufanya utafiti kuhusu magonjwa mbalimbali ila kwa miaka imekuwa ikikosa ufadhili wa kutosha hali inayolazimu kutegemea mashirika ya misaada thank you, thank you. So it is our appeal now as a committee that we will take to the government strongly to have enough funding. In, in, instead of 3 billion, we want to multiply that by 10, 30 to 50 billion, so that they, they can spread out. And uh, we are happy because they said they are now working with the counties to build uh, research capacity, disease prevention and, and detection, and also to uh, manufacture things which are uh, costing us money to import like cleaning stuff and uh, all these detergents. Uh, so in that kind of arrangement, we can spread from Mandera to Kisumu to coastal regions with good disease detection capacity building uh, so that the people, uh, community health workers, uh, the nurses and, and health education officers can go so that we can have our UHC, which the president has uh, put in front, more meaningful as people access and get good treatment in our villages. 
Siasani ni kwamba katibu wa mipango wa chama cha Wiper Robert Mbuya amepuzilia mbali muungano kati ya chama cha Jubilee na kile cha ODM akisema hauna maana yoyote kwa sasa maana kile kimekuwa kikifanyika ni kujenga Kenya moja kupitia mpango wa BBI na kuwa kila mmoja anapaswa kuhusishwa mezani kama vile imefanyika na vya matanzu vya Wiper NC Kanu na Ford Kenya Mbuya amesema Wiper pia wameafikia makubaliano na Jubilee na ODM ambao sasa wana mafikiano na vyama tanzu vya NASA na kuwarai kuungana kama vuguvugu moja la One Kenya Movement. As far as I'm concerned we are trying to build a One Kenya. One Kenya meaning that we want everyone together and we've started the movement already Wiper in uh, con in conjunction with Kanu in conjunction with ANC and also in conjunction with Ford Kenya. I've already started the move. So we would ask to we would like to urge our partners uh, that is uh, the Jubilee party which we have actually signed a cooperation agreement with and ODM who are also in an agreement a coalition agreement with us under NASA to come together under the uh, the One Kenya movement. I mean who does not want One Kenya? Let us just work together. Let us not have different factions because the minute you create different factions and his excellency the president said it then we do not have good leadership. Na mtazamaji mapumziko ya kwanza kabisa hapa mbi weekend lakini tarudi na mengi zaidi kwa hivyo usiondoke.